Today I'm here with Isla. Isla and Sloan. And Sloan has about a 60 second attention span before she starts grabbing all the wires. So we're gonna go quick, okay? I wanted to show you what I did at work today. You know that mommy works on a computer, but do you know what I do on the computer? I do stuff like this. Do you see this? So today I was leading office hours for participants in my online courses. And one of the women, Angela, who lives in California, she brought a data set that looks sort of like this. Okay, I made up these numbers with rand array, but it more or less was this structure. So she had a whole list of like, I don't know, like 20 or so different counties. And then, you know, that's like county three, county 19. You understand that part? And she was looking at crime statistics. So this was crime A, that type, crime B, crime C. And then the numbers she had filled in, I don't think they had decimal places in real life. Again, I made up these numbers, but it was crimes per thousand residents. So this one, for example, means this thing happened 39 times per thousand people in that county. And then she also had a total, like an overall crime thing. And she wanted to look at which 10 counties they need to focus their efforts on. So which one have the most of these crimes? So she was looking at rankings, okay? Now you can kind of sort, do you see these little arrows? Do you see how, well, this says sort smallest to largest. And it lets me, look, do you see the number at the top's four? And then seven's a little bigger and then ten's a little bigger. So sure, you can sort these, but um, there's just like a lot of work if you'd want to make a graph of this. So we turned it into ranks. See like the black and the red? Black means that's the raw data. That's the original numbers. And then red means I did something to it. I cleaned or recoded it. This is how I set up all of my data sets. A lot of people watching this, like you maybe, you've seen me do this before. Okay, black, raw, red, clean, recoded. And this is just the rank formula. It's just looking at 4.8 out of all these numbers. And it knows that 4.8, that's um, that's rank 20 out of 20. That's the least amount of crime compared to this 39. That's number one. That's the most amount of crime. So we turn things into ranks. And then we put these into some tables to feed into graphs. And we looked at just the top 10 rankings. So I just kind of took the big table with all the entries and I just condensed it. You know, it helped us filter it a little bit to look at what we wanted. And what are the, I think, what are the formulas behind the scenes here? It looks like I have some X lookups. I'm looking up the rank, returning the county name. This must be a X lookup too. Yeah, the number of crimes. Okay, and then this gray section, do you see how that one's gray? See how it's like a little bit light gray? That goes into this chart. Um, what do you think of this chart? Is it like good looking or like, what do you think? Good. It's good. I'm gonna make it look better though. This is what Excel gives us. Do you know this program's called Excel? I guess I should have told you that. That's what mommy works on probably most often out of all the programs. And then these are, have, um, these are some ideas I had for Angela to bring her graph to life. I always try to think of quick wins. So I was thinking, okay, pretend I'm Angela. Pretend I'm really busy. You know how I'm really busy? Do you know I stayed up really late last night? That's why I couldn't, like, I tucked you in, but then I went back to work. But then I came back again. So I always try to find things. I know other people are probably working late and they have kids and they've they got a lot on their plate. So at a bare minimum, I'd recommend doing something like this. Where Do you see the words in here? It's like 39 crimes per thousand residents. So I tried to explain that in more like everyday language. And do you see this arrow? This says more crime and less crime. All right. And then this is another idea I had for Angela. What do you, Isla, what do you see are the difference between these two? I know the microphone's in the way. What's the difference? I'll move it here. Yeah, that's right. And then what's another difference you notice? It's small. Do you see anything else? Do you see like these words right here? Oh yeah, they're not over there. Yeah, they're not over there, right? That is called an annotation or a call out box. It's just like, it's just a text box 
in Excel. I'll put some links below the video of nuances you have to be careful with when you're adding text boxes to Excel graphs. That's a text box, that's an arrow. So I was just playing around with like, what's the regular way of showing that versus bringing it to life for people who are busy. I did this one on purpose because I wanted people to notice like the darker ones. Does that make sense? So that Angela's people, they not only know the top 10 counties that have the most problems with this type of crime, but then they can like really look at just the top three. Tables, recoded, more tables, ugly charts, a little bit better, and I think a lot better. I think a lot better. What do you think? Good.